So is church a business? Stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and welcome to Animated Christian, where we discuss questions about the church as well as original content. Now, I'm not saying that all churches or pastors are like this, since some do walk in their calling. I'm just trying to get rid of the mindset that we created the church to be. So are churches a form of business? Well, let's define what a business is first. And the definition of business is, is an organization that produces and sells goods or which provides a service. So looking at this definition, we see that a business acts in a way to provide service. But does the church live up to the business name? First of all, most churches are mostly non-profit, relying on the tithe and offering to pay the bills, but it acts as a service for the Christian community. You have various offices throughout the church that each serve a different function within the church, which would be equivalent to me saying those offices are branches of the main business, which is the church. You got a pastor on stage selling you Jesus in a sense. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but neither good. He asks for money to help grow the business through tithe and offering. He said you need to have a Bible for each service and you must show up to church every Sunday and Wednesday if they have Wednesday services. This officially looks like a business to me, but you may be asking, how did it get this way? Well, I will be diving into that question in a later video. You see, the church was never a business. Let me repeat that. Church was never a business. It was designed to share the gospel or good news with others, not sell us on something. Jesus is wonderful and all, but we should not be looking at the church to sell us Jesus when Jesus paid the ultimate price for us. To me, we're being sold a cheap version of Jesus, which keeps us from the real Jesus. A lot of churches like to fall on Paul on this one, but even when you see Paul going around to towns preaching, you never saw him start a business, but start a family of believers, not a church building. So is there a way to fix this? Yes. But first, the church needs to let go of power and control of your business. Let God do what he does best. It's hard to let go. But if you don't, how will you grow as a person and believer if you're the only one speaking? Business should be left out of the church and the spirit should be allowed to roam freely in the church, letting the Holy Spirit do its work without having to worry about time or when things need to get done, or when you need to be in control. I'm not saying there should not be any order, but there needs to be less of you and more of God. And remember, church is not a business, but an ongoing interactive community. And join me next Friday where we will discuss what is allowed and what is not allowed in the church. And never forget, Animated Christians is just for you.